Yo, good morning and welcome to the channel. We have Elite Series 82 in store, as well as a couple more boxes going on out here on the outside. We got a lot of figs. Just know that there's a lot of figs involved. Of course, ringside collectibles on all three boxes. Hit the link in the description below. Discount code here is going to save you 10%. Now, giveaway, yes. All right, so we talked about Elite Series 81 and then Elite Series 83. That's when the winner will be determined. That's right. So you got to go in here. You got to pick out which figgy you want from this. There's going to be options, so we're going to go through all of them and then the last Last winner, for those that want to know, it was Rachel and Jesus, or is it Jesus? I don't know how to spell it. Again, I'll put it up on the screen. Come claim your prize. Let me know. Go on Instagram. Hit that link in the description, my friends. You got to come follow because the full series. Look at this, you guys. Yeah. We got Balor right now. What is good? I'll tell you what. We got the gun pointing. We got it locked and loaded. We didn't know the meaning. Now we do. We are discovering as the days progress. Now you'll know that Balor, he means none but good over here in NXT. What's well, actually heel hero fakes. But still, right here, Keith Lee. Oh, yeah, my friends. First time in the Elite Figgy, that's right. Basic, oh man, now here's the thing. We're getting some extras, right? We got that little extra. You know, a full review on all these figgies. That's why you got to turn on that notification bell because we're going to run through all of them, man. Them, Alexa Bliss, even though we are getting a whole new persona, I know that the Fiend, he'd be proud. Not so much of the way that they spell woman's. <laughs> That's right, on the belt. Again, once you see the review, you guys know exactly what we mean. We got the side of the package right there looking certified AF. And then up here, Jerry the King Lawler. If I had the music, if I had the trombone playing, it'd be playing pretty damn loud with that crown on, with the robe. And yes, I said that right. I didn't say rubber robe, but I'm talking about fabric as well as that scan, dude. Didn't get that up close. We're getting it all now. We're soaking it in. We're going for the swim. We're checking out the full series and the John Morrison, you guys. We're getting the updated Morrison that's right look we tried it with the basic that battle pack yeah the head scan swap it worked out well but not to the level of degree that we're getting with this fig man that's right because we had all the tires that's all we could use we didn't have anything to work off I mean the style yeah it stayed pretty much the same be you know going back to ruthless but the tassels the glasses even the old man face even though the man doesn't age physically the scan yeah you got to get that beard and you got to get Gronikowski this is going to be insane man <laughs> I got so many WWE figgy fans that just, they can't make sense of this. They're like, dude, I don't want to like this. I like it. But at the same time, like, there's superstars, right, that have been on the roster since God knows when, Balor. You know what I'm talking about. That they haven't brought this level of detail as they did with Gronkowski. As to, you know what, I'm, again, I'm going to give you a full in-depth review on this. I'm going to give you my full thoughts. We got the man over here coming all the way from New York at 268. Even though we only saw one presence over there at Mania. Apparently, that's enough to get the part going and leaving everybody hanging just like you mr ballard <laughs> hero fix don't be so mean i am being mean you ain't making sense i'm making a little bit of sense just know that if you look into whf words oh yeah there's a lot of meaning behind it all here it is where is the hand though i ain't seeing the hand i'm seeing wh's hand but i'm seeing nothing but a statue hero fix that's later on you're talking about attitude era that's the mark henry days this is the glory days for her now, i'm not gonna <laughs> If you guys get into the hand story, and I'm going to tell you that it's a pretty nasty one. I don't want to get too descriptive. For those who know, no. <laughs> For those that don't, don't want to know. All right, back right there. Again, yeah, we'll get it all reviewed. And then we got one last one. This one I don't want to wait on. I actually want to get this one open right now. I want to get a full review because this one I've been pretty stoked about. My Mike Tyson, the Iron Man, he's been waiting for that challenge. You know what? We don't got to use the knife here, fix. We just got to pull back on all that tape and show the WHF fam what's going on. And I'm going to give you a little hint, hint. It is an elite. It is a two-pack. And it is being unloaded right now as we speak to the WHF fan from WrestleMania 2. That's right. Heating all the way back. We got the two-pack right here with Piper, the Hot Rod Rowdy, and, of course, the man himself right there. We got all the little extras for the entrance gear. We even got the side of the packaging showing the man that I'm going to beat your ass. And then on the back right here, he's just down and he's like, I ain't sure, man. I think you might give me a fight, but I still got some left. And he did. Rowdy Rowdy Piper. Piper, he brought it in the ring, and then there's the top. If you guys want to know what's going on, there is the top. Let's check out the backdrop, because the WrestleMania 2 theme, oh yes, it's only going to carry inside the pack. It's trying to capture a little bit of nostalgia with inside the whole style, and they are. They're actually right there in the middle of the ring, and then we got the WrestleMania 2 logo going on in the back. Here they are. This is what you want to see to a certain extent. I mean, for a reviewer, I'm like, oh dude, if we're going to do like old school, like how WHF fam has loved it throughout the years, it's going to be a struggle, but if you're doing a swap the fake, it's definitely going going to be a fight knowing that all this stuff oh yeah you're gonna to have to really struggle you're gonna be making lots of noise you can't just pull up shop and be like yeah swap the figgies working today no 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 mattel's picking up cues they are seeing how easy we can maneuver
maneuver through it all. Now that we got the fix, let's pull them to the side and show them the accessories. Now for Mr. T, we are going to get the robe and we are going to get that signature labeled right there on the back as well as the rope wrapping all the way around. And if you are feeling a little bit chilly, you can go ahead and pull down the hood. That's the whole creative thought process behind Mattel went all out and they're going to deliver right now. Check out the rest right here. Uh, we got that same matches that we saw with the rope coming up right here midway through. Awesome little gem. And I'm going to slap it on so you guys can see once he does come down that entrance rampway, you guys want to see how the man is going to prep up, right? You got to get that juice going. We got to get all that Gatorade here. Fix, are you sponsored by Gatorade? No, but I am sponsored on how the crap did they tie it? <laughs> Look, they put a damn knot in here, so I can't even get it. How am I supposed to slip this on? If you guys got this all bunched up with Mattel, that's it. You're getting a fail. You can't deduct them for that. No, I'm not going to, but I am going to call them out on it because they're going to give me a... Dude, check it out. All right, now we got it on. Now we can talk about on how the Iron Man Hero Fix, you're going back to Mike Tyson. We're talking about Mr. T. Well, this is actually what I want to do. The whole reason why I keep talking about the Iron Man is due to the fact that this is going to be a great formula. Anybody that saw that custom that we put up about, I think it was well over a year now, but we got a custom Mike Tyson head scan that should fit in scale right there. I want to swap it on. I want to put it on here. And I know we're talking about something else. But if you want to see that level of detail, oh, yeah, we're going to get it right now. And then once you finally do turn on that notification bell, you'll see exactly what we mean of how damn good Figgy's going to look. But we got to concentrate on this because Mr. T, he's bringing it in his own style. I mean, if you check out the shorts, you can see how they implemented, like, the whole tight. Or it's not tights, but I'm going to call them, like, the trunks underneath the trunks, how it's coming around the waistline and carrying through the rest of the red right here it's like a kind of maroon red it has like a, a dark tint to it all and then we got the wwe logo on the left side now when you do carry down by the legs we're going to get red on the right side and then on the left we're going to see the sack getting crashing right there with the blue stripes coming all the way around and then taking it off you're going to see the torso that it is the same one that we did see with that sdcc exclusive and i don't know if you can consider the gloves as an accessory but as far as the interchangeable hands at least for mr t we're going to get two mic open so we can have the promo prior to the match and then the gloves too this is awesome dude the fact that we got these now like there are so many different situations that we can have with these one of them of course mr t right there knocking that old man out bam that's how you do See, it man this is a struggle you can't have a fight you can't have a full-on review without having some kind of clash between it all all right so for mr rowdy we got the rod we got the hot rod and then i know that sounds terrible just don't go ahead and pause it at this moment just know that the wwe logo it's gonna clash it's gonna to get you out of that dirty zone and be like, dude, why are you even thinking about that? Well, hey, let me ask you this. <laughs> If you saw this in a different format, right? Let's say it was not on Hot Rod Rowdy Piper. But let's say you were walking down the street and then all over the sudden you see Hot and then Rod next to each other. What are you going to think of? Well, I'll tell you one thing that we won't be thinking about. It's going to be Piper. <laughs> all right. Really enjoying the plan. I think they did an excellent job. The gloves, too. They are sharing the exact same mold that we did see over there with Mr. T. Now, as far as, like, the entrance gear for him and the hands, we are going to get two mic open. But the one that we're going to put around the waist around this man is going to be the the kilt and we can actually use this on what are we going to do drew mcintyre no hero fix it's not the kilt this time even though that the rowdy man is usually behind it on a normal basis it's not going to be that today matter of fact it's going to be the robe very similar to that holy danger field you gotta excuse me man i got nothing but boxing on the mind i mean if we got the gloves right here how could you not now the plaid is pretty cool i do think that they're actually mixing in real well with the actual shorts of it all points of articulation i gotta cover this not from the waist up because we have seen the mold over and over matter of fact every rowdy rowdy piper that we have received it's going to be the daniel bryan mold and one that i still disagree to this state not sure if you guys are picking up on this but i mean look at the side of the packaging dude is a little bit buff especially during this time the guy was training pretty good now wcw days that might be a different song and dance he did keep it pretty well but still pretty nice to see this scan too you can utilize this in so many different formats like we've gotten one in the past actually we've gotten a total of three different versions but i gotta see the screaming one it's it's got to be one of my favorite ones today. When it comes to the points of articulation, we'll go ahead and still cover it because the shorts, we might have seen a mold. I know this is looking pretty familiar, but the legs, they go about pretty damn wide. I mean, you're getting a full-on split. It's like there is no hesitation in the man's split game, of course, the full 360 around the waist. As far as the legs going forward, yeah, you're going to get some pretty good motions right there. I think every single punching move that, that you know, ended up happening that night, there is no reason as to why you shouldn't be able to play it out. Now, upper thigh cut, even though you can barely see it, it is very much there so you're going to get a 360 on that as well you're getting a double hinge right there on the knees that you're not going to get like a full-on actually you are still getting a 45 degree and it is surpassing that with the mold it's going to be the shorts mold that's going to interfere with it going any further back for the calf rotation 
Again, another 360, and the legs, they still go forward and back. Nothing going on except just a slight pivot right there on the ankle. And what the crap, Hero Fix? You're breaking stuff. Oh, my gosh. To be quite honest with you guys, I wasn't even forcing it. I was just trying to demonstrate, but that's exactly what went down. Now, I'm not sure if the leg piece actually broke, but confirmed, official, we got a trash. Now, I'm going to deduct. <laughs> actually, I can't deduct that. It's got to be a QC. But, dude, this sucks, man. I can't even. I mean, adhesive might fix this, but at the end of it all, it's a tragedy nonetheless. The full unboxing makes up for it, man. Very stoked to get in depth more right here with Elite Series 82. Again, turn on that notification bell. We're going to run through the entire wave. We got some more dr stuff dropping in this weekend. I know this is like a lot going on right now, but wait until you see this weekend's haul. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. We're getting damn close to the Christmas days and the holidays. It's only going to keep rolling right here on the channel. I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Oh man, come on, man. I was a trying to end it this way. Well, guess what? You did. Bam!